from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, January the 4th, 2021. Over 1.2 million Israelis have now received the coronavirus vaccine, Israel passing the 1 million mark this past Friday. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tweeted yesterday that Israel is the world's leading vaccination nation, 12 percent of the entire population now inoculated against COVID-19. The percentages, by the way, are per 100 people of a total population. Meanwhile, the cases of COVID-19 are still on the rise in Israel, and the cabinet is once again convening on another possible lockdown. And staying with the prime minister, Netanyahu sent a clear message to Iran after reports that it has begun enriching uranium. Iran's state-run news agency cited a spokesperson for the Iranian government saying today that the Islamic Republic has begun enriching uranium up to 20 percent at an underground facility which, while it is far from the 90 percent needed to construct nuclear weapons, the work to get from 20 to 90 percent is said to be relatively quick. In response, Netanyahu tweeted that Iran's decision to continue violating its commitments to raise the enrichment level and advance the industrial ability to enrich uranium underground can't be explained in any way except as continued realization of its intention to develop a military nuclear program, reiterating that Israel would not allow that to happen. And Defense Minister Benny Gantz also warned in a video statement today that Iran is a challenge to the world, to the region, and to Israel. And Israel cannot allow Iran to go nuclear and advance its other ambitions. Gantz called for the entire world to step up pressure. The IDF arrested several Palestinians suspected in throwing rocks at an Israeli vehicle in the West Bank today. One of the rocks hit an Israeli woman in the head while she was driving with her children in the car, seriously injuring her. She was taken to the hospital where she remains in serious condition. Israel delivered another Iron Dome defense system battery to the United States Army over the weekend, the second of two. Israel's defense ministry said the batteries will be used by the American troops in defense against ballistic and aerial threats. Defense Minister Gantz said the delivery of the Iron Dome to the U.S. Army once again demonstrates the close relations between the Israel Ministry of Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense. The effectiveness of the system against various threats and the excellent technological capabilities of Israeli industries. The first battery was delivered this past September. Jewish filmmaker Joan Micklin Silver has died. Micklin Silver was one of only a handful of female directors working in Hollywood in the 70s and 80s on some of her best known and Jewish themed films, Crossing Delancey and Hester Street. She also co conceived and directed the musical review, A My Name is Alice, which ran off Broadway. Micklin Silver was also the daughter in law of the late renowned Rabbi Abba Hillel Silver, who served a central role in the early Zionist movement. Joan Micklin Silver died Thursday from vascular dementia. She was 85. Well, in another sign of cooperation between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, a delegation from the Israeli Mekorot Water Company was in Dubai this weekend, meeting with Emirati under Secretary of the Ministry of Energy Sharif Al Olama, who welcomed the team led by CEO Eli Cohen, who said the Israeli UAE relations offers many new opportunities for the region, and one of the most promising involves advances in the water sector essential to agricultural cultivation and food security. Jewish groups lauded the U.S. House of Representatives for its unanimous passage this past Thursday of the legislation elevating the special envoy to monitor and combat anti-Semitism position to that of ambassador. Benabrath International praised the passage and said the bill provides new resources to bolster the vital fight against global anti-Semitism. 
The leaders of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, Arthur Stark, William Daroff, and Malcolm Honline, thanked the original bipartisan co-sponsors of the bill, Chris Smith, Brad Schneider, and Elliot Engel, as well as Nancy Pelosi, Kevin McCarthy, and Steny Hoyer, saying that the enhancing of this position would represent further recognition by the U.S. government of the critical importance of having an official representative to lead in combating the scourge of Jew hatred. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, January the 4th. At 7 o'clock, it's The Wisdom of Dr. Ruth. At 7.15, it's the story of the creation of the Talmud on today's Jewish Story Explained. At 7.30, author Meryl Ain reads from her novel, The Takeaway Men, for Jewish Book Month with Rabbi Avraham Bronstein from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8, the question of when anti-Zionism becomes anti-Semitism is discussed by Dina Porat of Yad Vashem, David Myers of the New Israel Fund, with Michael Brenner of the Center for Israel Studies at American University. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with historian and psychiatrist Kenneth Levin, who suggests why some American Jews are anti-Israel. At 10, historian Simon Shama speaks at the 92nd Street Y. And coming up next, it's Good Week Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, January the 4th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.